Hey there friends, hi, I'm Ashley and I'm here at Joyful Noise Learning and you are here at Joyful Noise Learning now. So anyway, welcome to my channel. Today's video is a review video. So it's that time of year we get to share some of the things we've used this year and I'm going to review a curriculum we use. I gotta say thank you so much to Teaching Textbooks for sponsoring us. I'm so glad I get to partner with them in this video. Okay, so let's talk about setting our kids up for independence in homeschool. So I don't know how old your kids are, but my kids are currently six, nine, and 11. And I know when our kids are in the younger years, like the lower elementary age, the preschool, kindergarten, first grade, second grade, homeschool for a mom is super hands-on. Am I right? Like you're, you're teaching them to read. Like you, you need to sit next to them and do lessons with them. You're teaching them math. You're teaching them all the things. <laughs> so homeschool as with younger kids can be very not independent. They're very, very dependent upon us as homeschool moms and that's okay and that's good and that's really how it should be. But as your kids age into upper elementary, middle school and beyond, they are definitely getting to that point where they can have a little bit more independence. So maybe you're at that age where they're like second, third, fourth grade where you're like, ah, are they independent yet? <laughs> I remember that stage when uh, my young, my oldest uh, was getting to that age and I was like, I'm ready for her because I, you know, I'm teaching three kids. Uh, the main reason I was so excited for my oldest to be a little more independent was when I had her and the boys were younger, it was just one student that I was teaching and it was really easy just to do all the lessons with her and be done with school in a short time. As my younger kids started getting older, I added more students to my list of tips to people I was teaching throughout the day. The way I saw it was, you know, okay, now this younger one's coming up, he needs mommy for math and reading lessons and my oldest knows how to read and use the computer so she can be doing things without me for part of the day, for sure, a whole lot more now than she could when she was younger. So that has been one of my goals in homeschool, is to help my kids develop some independence and do a few of their subjects without uh, entire help from me. Like I said, my main reason for doing that is, is I'm teaching more than one child and my time is split and I need to be able to focus on the younger kiddos. So, so I am so thankful I found teaching textbooks we started it a couple years ago and I wasn't sure what to do for fifth grade math. And again, I needed to take something off of my plate that I was teaching. I did talk about in one of my earlier videos about teaching textbooks and how I love it because it teaches my child math. I don't have to teach it anymore because I'm not math minded. So you can check out that video too. But the other reason I love teaching textbooks is the fact that she can do it on her own. I am able to just add it to her checklist for, for her homeschool day for the activities she needs to do. And she does it and math gets checked off the list and it gets done. I'm also so thankful it is a safe place for my child to be using this because it's not an internet based program. It's a program that's downloaded to your computer. So she's not having to log in to a website online. We try to limit our child's access to online pro online viewing very very limited they they usually do it with us we're a bit concerned about safety for sure so with this it's i know that she's opening up a program that's going to be downloaded on the computer and it's not a website a regular website that she's going to so it's safe and i know she can do this on her own with uh without me having to check uh what she's viewing while she's doing her during her lessons so with teaching textbooks, even though it's it's a screen-based program, screen-based curriculum, it's not online-based. Does that, does that make sense? So I thought I'd share that there because uh, I know in our world and our day, in this day of technology, a lot of us parents are concerned with um, keeping our kids safe and keeping them offline. Uh, so I love how teaching textbooks has done that. And uh, that's definitely one of the great things I do love about them. So how does my daughter use her teaching textbooks? We have it downloaded to an iPad, we have it on a laptop, and we have it on our family desktop computer. So on a normal everyday homeschool day, she goes through her list of activities for the day and te teaching textbooks is usually first or second on the list. And she goes downstairs to our family 
computer and starts her lesson and finishes her lesson. So I make sure she gets it done. I get an email later that day uh, sharing with me her grade that she got and the score that she got. So again, I love that they score it for you. I don't have to do any of the grading. Um, if I see that it's a lower than satisfactory grade, then we go over it and see what she needs help with. But um, so that's that's nice and easy there. We have certain days of the week where we are out of the house for part of the day because of karate and piano lessons. And on that day, she doesn't have as much time at home. And so it's perfect for us to take her teaching textbooks along with us out of the house. So she does it on the tablet or the laptop, either in the car or usually at the library. So it's downloaded onto our device so she can open it up and it's ready to go uh, wherever we're at. So she's used teaching textbooks level five and level six, and I've been super happy with it. I wanna remind you, you can always try teaching textbooks for free. You can get a free trial with the first 15 lessons of whatever level that your child needs. Uh, so I'll put the link below in the description so you can download that and try that out, sign up for that. Again, it's free, you can try it out, see if it's gonna be a good fit for you and for your kids. And I'm just so grateful that my daughter likes this. <laughs> so there was a while there where she didn't wanna do math, but now she she likes doing it. She enjoys doing math and she'll do it um, every day. She has assignments and she does it without complaining. So I'm thankful for the independence that teaching textbooks teaches my child. So, and it's a subject that she can do independently. So I don't have to work with her. So I can work with my other kids while she can do her math on her own. And my time is freed up just a little bit more for me to be able to do other things, like I said. <laughs> All right, so that's my review for teaching textbooks. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Have you used teaching textbooks before? What do you think? So thank you again for teaching textbooks and all that they offer the com homeschool com community with their math program. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if this was helpful for you and consider subscribing if you haven't yet. So thanks so much guys. Hope you enjoyed this review. I will be back later with my regular content. Have a good day. Bye.